Welcome to DIY is my happy place. I'm Amy and today I'm going to do a fantastic solar light. This is different than any of the other solar lights that I've done and there are some pros and some cons and I'm going to tell you what they are. So let's have some fun. All right, this one is a mystery to me. I'm not exactly sure what we're gonna get here. So I just heard that it was a light that could be used on your deck and I definitely need more light on my deck. So we'll see what this turns out to be. I just, I love mystery lights. Actually, the whole idea of having a solar light that you don't have to plug in or recharge batteries, you just have to, you know, let the sun do its thing. <laughs> now, as I'm looking in this box, there are a lot of parts to it. This is this is much more high tech than any other solar lights that I've done. And I love that the panel itself is so big because let's face it, you can't have a good powered solar light if it doesn't have an area to get some solar. So here's the instructions. I went ahead and looked at those off camera. And I will say, you know, um, there's a lot of different parts here. So figuring out what goes with what wasn't, wasn't the hardest, wasn't the easiest. But definitely you need to put the screw in. And th this was the part that I, I kind of got confused. So I tried a couple of different screws to see which one fits in here. And it wasn't giving me the exact well anyway <laughs> I finally figured out this has got to be the one and I was I put the screw in the wrong direction and then you can't get the wing nut on there so you definitely and the picture was just so small but once I figured this out the actual assembly of it is very easy to do and this is the other side I, I went ahead and put together the other side because I was trying to figure this thing out so these wing nuts can go on there and they tighten up and so you can move this according to where you're going to put it. So basically you need to mount this somewhere where it's going to get direct sunlight, no shade. The one thing about solar lights, they really need direct sunlight. The panel does. The fact, the fact that the panel is separate from the light itself is intriguing. I like this idea. Now what it has is this metal piece that you put a screw in and then you hook that on something and you hook your light wherever you want and it doesn't have to be in the same exact spot as the part the piece that's receiving the, the solar light or the sun light. So love that and really you can put your part that receives the sun just about anywhere. I went ahead and put it on top of my roof just because I wanted to get a feel for it. But in the reality of life, I would attach it probably to a wall or underneath. Anyway, I, I will have to play with that a little bit. Maybe it'll be attached to the bench, just somewhere where it's kind of out of sight and not making a big focus, but also where it can get full sunlight. So I'll play with that. For this video, I just wanted to be able to figure out what worked. So I put the solar panel up on the roof and then I hooked my light right into a previous hook that I already had where I would hang a plant actually. And so that I could get a feel for what the light was gonna look like, how much light it would give off before I went to the point of drilling a hole and making it permanent. And you do need to let it have a good afternoon in the sun to get a full charge to see how the light itself is going to work. But I will say I was astounded at how much light it could give off and it even attracted the bugs. <laughs> but uh, of course lights do that. <laughs> the bottom line is this particular light can be attached with two screws so one for the light itself and one for the solar panel so you do want to have a permanent spot to put them and really you could even build a wooden post to put them on 
if you wanted them kind of in the center of your yard or if you didn't want to attach it to your house or to your deck. I'm sure that's what I'm going to do with mine. And I will say this, with the cord, it's nice to attach it right to the post itself so that it doesn't show up. It'll hide away and maybe even paint the post the color of the cord or paint the cord the color, color of the post and basically tack it down like you would your phone line that's coming into your house. Once it's tacked down, it just becomes invisible, so to speak. Wasn't that great? Okay, now you know a lot about this particular type of solar light and I'm going to tell you my personal opinion because I have a lot of solar lights and I guess I have a lot of experience with them. Here's the things that I don't like. I'll tell you that first. First of all, the fact that hmm, it was the instructions weren't that great. Now, I'm pretty good at figuring things out and I was able to figure it out, but I didn't love the instructions. But the overall light itself and how it works and how you can kind of light up an area, move it around, I really like that. But here's my favorite thing about this one. I love that there's different settings and that there's a remote. I don't have any other solar lights that have a remote. And I have to say, the fact that it has high, middle, low, and off. The rest of my solar lights, they either are on when they're on, or it's really a pain to go out and turn, push a button like this. Some of my solar lights have some buttons that can turn them on or off, but I don't want to have to go push a button on the solar light. So from all the solar lights that I've done in the past, this one's my favorite. What do you think? Please like and comment below. Let me know what your thoughts are, and I will see you again soon. See ya!